you can probably see things going out of focus. And then if I twist it back. Can wearing glasses actually make you smarter? No, 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 it can't, it can't. It just enables you to see better. But in the future, we will be able to receive information when we're wearing glasses. And this is in the form of augmented reality or a head-up display. So Google were the first off the blocks with this, this concept and they came up with Google Glass last year. And the idea was they actually had a pair of Oakley glasses that they use, clear lenses, and you project information onto the backside of the glass so that you can see it, it's in focus. And it means that you have this head-up display that you can see information as you're walking along. So the example that they gave was, if you're on your way to a tube station and the tube is out, you will receive that information linked you know, wirelessly to you. It will tell you, don't go down into that tube line, the tube is out. And then maybe it pulls up Google Maps and overlays a route so that as you're walking around, it can give you directions. And it's really, really smart. And what Google were trying to do was integrate a lot of their different services. So Google Play, um, Google Maps, obviously. And then perhaps if you see something you like the look of, you could say, take picture, or you could wink, and it would take a picture. And then it would send that to your Google Circle and alert your friends. So they were first off the mark. Microsoft have just entered the market with their own augmented reality glasses. And these are quite smart. The example in the pattern is a baseball game. So you wear your Microsoft glasses and then you can see, you know, the statistics of all the different players as they're running around, you know, how many home runs they've had, what their names are, who they've played for. Really, really interesting. And I actually find the whole history of glasses and sight correction very interesting. It goes back about 800 years. It was a Dominican friar, actually, that was the very first recorded uh, user of glasses. And he came up with, he ground these lenses and put them, put them in a frame over his eyes in sort of the 1280s um, to correct his myopia, which is short-sightedness. And then it was in the sort of late 1700s that uh, Benjamin Franklin, who suffered from presbyopia and myopia, created a bifocal. So he had two different types of lens in one set of glasses that you can kind of see through at different, different points of your vision. And then later things like contact lenses were developed and they started out actually as glass. So you can imagine sticking a bit of glass in your eye, um, but that's what they did. And that was in sort of 1888. In fact, the first recorded glass contact lenses were made by a guy called August Muller. And then the softer glasses came about, softer contact lenses. They irritated the eye initially and then things like silicon hydrogels were developed in the 60s. I also wanted to talk about sight correction in uh, odd parts of the world. So if you live in sub-Saharan Africa, you might require glasses or contact lenses, but actually there can be one optician per million of the population. And in fact, one in three people might need sight correction. So I worked with a professor in Oxford called Joshua Silva on a pair of glasses that had liquid-filled lenses. I have a pair here. And it means that you can change the prescription of your glasses to suit. So I'm wearing a pair here. The liquid filled lens works a little bit like an eye. And what you can do is squirt more liquid into the lens and it changes the prescription of the lens. So you change it until it focuses. And then when you've got the focus right, you put the two screws in, you cap the silicon and then you can remove the syringes and the tubes and you have a perfectly set pair of glasses. So you can see, if I hold it up to the camera, there we go, and then twist this. You can probably see things going out of focus. And then if I twist it back, back into focus. So there, there you go, you can see they're effective. And then you set them and you can see properly. Clever, eh? Why not just subscribe to Head Squeeze? It doesn't cost you anything. You hardly have to do anything. You have to just lift your finger up and touch the screen or move your mouse. That's it. Go on, do it.